Hi there, this is Mark II, and that is a spider jockey. So, I don't know what that proves, but, um, but there it is, spider jockey. They're pretty awful to kill, because you got to kill both the spider and the jockey. So there goes the, uh, spider. There goes the jockey. I would guess the jockey has not experienced any, um... Any kind of um, damage. Somebody hit me. Must have got a shot in at me somehow or another. Let's look. I don't see any arrows in me. Something hit me somehow or another. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, this is just a brief interlude. I just decided I would, uh, I would quickly catch that because uh, spider jockeys are. Uh, uh. They're not all that unusual. I've seen quite a few of them, but uh, they're way less common than either the um, spider or the jockey by themselves. So, so there you are. It's, uh, it's a little spider jockey interlude, and I'll be back in about let's say one second. Okay, we're back at the uh, tiny apartment, actually. This is uh, the uh, zombie dungeon or the zombie spawner that was nearby. I had a couple of cataclysms uh, in game and in real life, which has caused me to um, abandon my previous plan of um, using the uh, the skeleton spawner as the basis for. Uh, um, an XP grinder. And, um, well, some of them did and some of them didn't. Where's my... Man, I didn't bring any torches with me, did I? Okay, that's... That's kind of sad, because I need torches in order to be able to move these torches around. But anyway, um, I'll get that in a minute. The, um... The thing is, I had that skeleton uh, spawner. I can't find it again. I I didn't make note of where it was, and I went looking for it, and I figured I thought it was pretty close to this, the tiny apartment, but um, apparently it's it's further away than I had hoped. So um, so I don't know uh, I don't know where it is. I lost it. I did find the other, uh, or one of the other, um, zombie spawners. So anyway, but it occurred to me though, I can't use that one, so, um, so what? We'll use this one here. This one's closer to the apartment, it's more convenient, I don't have to worry about navigating back to it, which obviously is not that easy to do anyway, and, um, so it's right here, and it's near where I'm going to be building my uh, my base, in, or not my base, but my uh, it's near where I where I already have the apartment, which is where I'm going to be building an enchanting um, station anyway. Uh, it's right here by our newly uh, there's some gold over there. I could probably get that gold pretty easily now. See, we've already explored the ravine now. Anyway. Um, I'm going to go get some torches and head back here, and then I'm going to start setting this up as a spawning chamber for uh, for zombies. I don't want any zombies popping in on me while I'm doing that, though. So that's why I'm leaving these torches where they are. Actually, I could probably take one of these and get that one, uh, get that one torch that's that's sitting there and then I can take that one. That should work. I hope it works. Seems to have worked. Okay, good. It worked. Alright, um, I'll be back with more stories about my, my cataclysms uh, in about one second. Okay, I've cleared out the uh, spawner chamber 
and sealed it up and replaced a lot of dirt so it will be a nice pleasant uh, cobblestone and sm stone effect for zombies as they are spawned. I've set these up here and what these are going to do for us is provide some elevation for the water sources. So now as the zombie spawns they'll be pushed along right along here and eventually they'll make their way into this uh, fiendish trap here. And what this is going to be going way up is a water elevator. There'll be a block of water here so when the zombie comes in there they'll start to drown and they'll start swimming up and then we'll alternate sign source block of water sign source block of water etc until we get to the other side and then when we get high enough up we will uh, move them along laterally until they're uh, directly above the drop zone and then they will fall uh, to the, uh, the collection chamber which is uh, going to be just outside the uh, uh, the tiny apartment and right now what we have here this uh, gets us over into this working area and the working area let's see how do we get home from here actually we can't get home from here have to dig this one out, I think. There. Yeah, and then we can get back around that way when we get out. I'll probably put a door in here somehow. Maybe clear out some of this dirt. Uh, this is still a working area. I don't know what... It won't get very many visitors anyway. So, hopefully this is big enough. It's only one space below there. I think that should be adequate. I looked in the wiki and it basically said uh, 8 by 8 by 3 with one air block on top, one air block on the bottom. So it should be adequately high. If not, then we'll have to just come in and uh, uh, get some more. And I'm not too keen on, on this exactly. I think it might be better to uh, try to uh, build more of a funnel to force them into that um, this catch spot here. So anyway, um, yeah, that'll come in. It, it, they'll be drowning when they get in here, so they'll want to try to get out. Anyway, um, we'll be tweaking on it, uh, and it, it's actually relatively simple and well-established design. Uh, just modified a little bit because here the spawner is actually higher than where we want to collect them, so we don't have to pull them up quite as high as normal. We only have to go up about, uh, I don't know how far that is, about 10 or so I guess. Anyway, not too far. How I'm going to do that I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, but once we get it done we'll, we'll have it done. And we'll see in about one second. Okay, we're almost there. When in doubt, you should always check with the experts. So I went back to Tusa Top and made some adjustments, and now it's working fine. What I needed to do is make it slightly bigger. And then he puts this trough down in his. I had not seen that one before. But it seems to work quite well. So now the zombies are coming out. And what I'm trying to do is get that one last torch off the top of the, the spawner. Without them killing me. There it goes. Okay, now I've got this little secret escape route here, which I need to uh, dig out again. There. Now I can seal that back up. And, uh... Oh dear, that wasn't supposed to happen. I think I killed off the, uh... Oh yeah, I did. I did. Okay, I need to... Nobody else escapes, and now I gotta go get some more water. I made this, uh, this isn't the best uh, infinite spring because you can only take it out of the middle, but I didn't have room to have a two by two here because there's uh, passageways leading up. I'll 
also going to want to shut that off so it's even more effective. Where did I put my water? There it is. Okay. Alright, there's that zombie waiting to jump up here and, and kill us. Get out of the way. He's got my torch. Alright, now. Okay, now I gotta restore that source block of water that I destroyed. Here we go. That puts a lot of power pushing into that, that central collection location. And now, there's that. And here's this. And now it should be at, at a pretty good. Um, now, where are we collecting it? Ideally, you would have the uh, the collection point pretty close to where the uh, the spawner is, but um, I'm kind of lazy. Since I know that these uh, these zombies will uh, now they should be collecting up somewhere down in here should be collecting right there as a matter of fact and they're not so where are they must be collecting up there somewhere and that's bad news because now I'm going to have to go figure out where the zombies are going we can hear them they're somewhere they should have been falling right down through that hole I can't imagine where they are Okay, so now I've got to uh, check this out. Now there's one thing I can see very quickly, just by heading back up there, I have a little observation point that, uh, that I had set up. And let's go see if they're at least making it to that point. Or there, just in case. be going up there. They're not quite making it up. They're not quite making it up. Okay, so why would that be? It could be that I missed one of the spots. You see what happens is you put sign, water, sign, water. Okay, so in order to fix this, gonna have to go up the uh, the side of that thing and figure out where the uh, where the problem is, and that's liable to be tedious, especially if I have to talk about it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. See if I can figure out where this uh, problem is, and I will be back with you in about one second, either when I've found it or after I fixed it. Then. There's a lot of them in there, though. I always push the wrong button. Okay, it's fixed. Here they drop. And they're not quite getting killed, so that's by design. Turn their voices down a little bit. Let's see here. Um, 36. Let's turn them down to like 10 or 8. Eight's good. Okay, we're done. Back to the game. All right, that's a lot better. The problem was instead of a, a source block of water, I had a uh, a ladder because see, in order to make that thing. The way I had to do it was uh, I had to build a ladder up. It was like double wide, and then I tore the ladder down incrementally, replacing it with alternating source blocks of water and signs to hold the water up. So here we are. Uh, let, me, let me get something to eat. And. Um, 
once I replaced that, then the zombies were able to get beyond that, and they got up, and the rest of it seems to be working perfectly. So let's see how many, uh, how much experience we can get here with a bucket. Uh, kill the zombies. Uh, there is a way you can tell how many entities you're looking at. I was at eight. Still killing zombies. Ideally, you, well, at least according to Tuzatop, and that's who I checked out. Tuzatop is my go to guy for uh, uh, quick and dirty on how you build anything related to mob spawning and mob XP grinders or anything like that. I know Vax is uh, he's good about it, and I'm sure he's got a tutorial out there somewhere. But that's kind of like uh, Tuzatop's job, is what he does. Okay, we gained seven levels burned up the equivalent of like, uh, actually maybe even more than that, because I haven't got them all. And as far as loot is concerned, uh, he caught sight of me. You see that? Oh, and I can't get out of here. Yeah, they can catch sight of me going underneath there, so I don't want to do that. I gotta, well, I'm gonna have to work on this part, but, uh, let's see here. We also got, uh, Oh man, that's a fairly nicely uh, done golden helmet. Uh, protection two, respiration one. I pretty much. I could probably add that to my existing diving helmet, and that would cause uh, great joy uh, somehow or another. Because I think I don't think it has protection on it. Let's see if we can work out a way to get around this little pedestal here. Uh, getting smacked by zombies. That's, uh, uh, that's actually the basement. It's not that big a deal. Okay, so anyway, here you can come in here and smack them zombies. Uh, let's see, we're going from 16 now. There's a little kid zombie. He has a rock. He's going to throw it at me. What I'm probably going to do is set this up and probably have like a, a crafting table here so that I can easily make uh, stone swords. Look at that little kid, and he's got, he's got golden pants on. If he were to drop those golden pants, you think they'd fit me? I don't know. Maybe not. But yeah, now, of course, we're back to the original problem of having noisy neighbors, because uh, now that, that spawner is active again, and it activates when I'm in my bedroom, so um, now I got to deal with that problem again. Uh, but I guess it's worth it because we've got uh, some fairly easy, fast experiences. This is much faster than uh, than the XP farm back at the ranch. Because, uh, obviously, I mean, look at that. 11 levels in just a couple minutes, really. The downside, of course, it's only zombies. It would have been better to be able to get the uh, skeletons because their drops are better, uh, but only slightly. And if all you're really looking for is uh, um, experience from it, then you're fine. It's like, for instance, one thing I'd like to do is replace this with a hopper so that I don't just gather up all that stuff because most of this, one, one feature I'm going to want, and I have this lava bucket here for, actually I could do that right now, uh, is, is set that up so that I have a, a garbage disposal. That was the whole idea behind having that thing in the first place. And let's see, we'll work there. Yeah, we... Oh. Oh. Oh, what do I need to do to make it work? Okay, now I'm gonna put a block uh, there to prevent me from walking into it. Heat of the moment or anything. And uh, here we are. So now we got some lava. And what that's gonna do for me, as you can see, I have no need for this much rotten flesh. I'm not sure if anyone does. So, uh, so there. Supposed to go in there. Oh, you know what? Well, the 
eventually does. Uh, it's a matter of aiming it. Sure, it smells lovely in here. Who's cooking rotten zombie flesh again? More rotten zombies. So anyway, that was it's a fairly simple design. It requires some time and some digging in survival mode, and I never go peaceful. Uh, as you saw in the previous or it might have been this segment, I don't remember if I cut it or not in between. Uh, uh, it was kind of dicey getting rid of all the lights so that the, uh, we could activate the, uh, the dungeon. But, um, but activate it, we did. And now I'm starving again. What is it about killing zombies that takes up so much food? Okay, so anyway, the next step, yeah, I could plug that. Well, I could have if he hadn't fallen in on me. And, um, see, now they'll be right out here. And that's, uh... impossible to get a good night's sleep in the apartment anymore. So I might have to move the bedroom. And I, I've always second guessed myself on the placement of the bedroom anyway. It's right next to the uh, right next to the uh, portal. Which is uh, suboptimal. I mean, you know, zombie pigments come in all the time. Drunk. Noisy. Haven't taken baths in 500 years. So, uh, there's that little thing. Shut up. Get off my lawn. You don't get anything out of a little kid. That's why I don't like them. Anyway, we've gone from level 8 to level 24. We'll be hitting 25 here. Yep, there we go. And, um, very low cost in, uh, in time. It might be, and I'm not even sure if the dynamics are the same anymore, but it might be that it's, uh, it might be that it's, um, better to, uh, have the, the, your collection chamber right next to the spawner. I'm not absolutely sure that that's true. It, it might have been true at one time, may not be true now, because, I mean, as you can see, we're just cranking out zombies at a, at a high speed rate. It's like factory XP here. You're not going to get too much faster than this. So the next next project, uh, since I'm very nearly at 30, uh, will be to uh, set up a crafting table here on this side. And I did bring enough um, books to do that now. They don't drop. They do drop the occasional iron ingot and some uh, fairly nice stuff every now and then. With a, a spawner like this. The, um, I think you might get more of them over here. You can always go up and just hang out up there and then come down and gather. Really in a hurry. Anyway, let me uh, go ahead and sign off. I'm going to um, put together a. Uh, I'm going to. Yeah, I want to fix this. I want to make this a little bit better. Um, for one thing, that's not, it'd be nice if it was kind of connected to this area here, or possibly upstairs, is what I want to do. I want to put the, uh, I want to make this the enchanting area and probably put a anvil up here. As you might have guessed, this is not going to be the launching platform as I had previously speculated to be the, uh, uh, the undersea. 
secret laboratory. Uh, I have other plans for that. Those plans will be forthcoming when I am prepared to give them out. And that will be uh, more than one second. I don't think that'll be next time. That that might not even be next week or so. It's going to take a little while, but because uh, it's big and grand. But we're getting there, and this is an important part of it. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed. I think that's probably enough for a single uh, episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Mark II. We'll see you uh, next time. You know what I've neglected to mention, and this is not very much later than it was before. I forgot to mention about my catastrophes in life that might have an impact. Um, most notably, the um, I stepped. I, I was stepping away from my. Um, That isn't going to work, is it? Let's see. I think that's right, yeah. Okay. I was stepping away from my, uh, my desk, and um, I, I got tangled up in my, uh, the cable for my headset so I had to buy a new headset and this is a new headset uh, I spent some time getting the working with the audio so that it sounds reasonably like what I'm used to hearing I hope that it, it sounds okay um, that generally obviously it, it's gonna sound a little better for me because I'm listening to the raw audio that hasn't been processed if you're listening on YouTube then uh, it's uh, been uh, degraded to an extent for uh, for the purposes of uh, of YouTube. So um, that's how I'm going to do it. Look at that. Tell me I understand math. Okay. I do. I understand math. And um, so uh, anyway, I just wanted to mention that. I need one sticky piston, and it just so happens I just had a, uh, I, I'm trying to remember how to make them. Yeah, I think it's uh, like this, and I think uh, these here go like that. And then I think it's uh, one here and one there, and one there. No, that isn't right. There must be one there. And we each of those on the either side. No, that isn't right either. I'm going to have to look it up. Anyway, um, anyway, thanks for watching. This really is the uh, the end of it. There's, I just wanted to mention that because uh, it, it, if you notice the difference in sound quality, that's that's why it is. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Mark II. See you in a week or so, whenever it happens to be.